Oh uh, yeah, put the light on. One viewer, one viewer, one viewer. 12 seconds, 13 seconds, 14 seconds. Yeah, okay. It's probably got lots more viewers than one or zero. <laughs> or there's a problem. Okay, now it's, it's getting up there. All right, guys. 13 viewers, we're back. So we, we figured out the problem. The polarity on this, we had it reversed and it took a little bit of fiddling to make it work. Uh, something is not quite right in, with the charge controller because it's not getting up to the right voltage that we need. So this was 130 volts open circuit without any load. And typically with a Pelton turbine, you're gonna have half of that as your operating load. Uh, so we would be expecting half of 130, 65 volts. The problem is, right now it's only generating at, you see, 20 volts. So there's 65 volts uh, minus 20 volts, so there's uh, 45 volts that we're missing out on that we could be pushing more amps through that same wire. So I don't know exactly what's going on there, but we are making power. Uh, it's about one-tenth of what I was expecting, approximately. So that's good news. Uh, we may also be needing more jets or a larger jet than what I have on there. Uh, you guys saw that I just have the little spinny jet. Let me turn on my light because that really does help to see things. So we are making good power, just not as much as uh, I was expecting. You're having troubles with Bluetooth on my charge controller too. I think it maybe needs to do a bunch of updates and restarts, but we finally got it working on one of the phones that's not mine, so we can see it operating. Uh, Andy, you want to hold this for a moment? Sure. And then another thing that I thought was really cool, mm -hmm. you guys hear it's fairly quiet right now, but watch when I lift this up, because it's not actually attached right now. So that's, it's great that it's so quiet like this. And that's actually absorbing a lot of noise the way I built it. Now we can also, um, why aren't you focusing? Come on. All right, we also have the lid here that I have done and I have a seal on it too. So if we close that and we're gonna try it. Um, I suspect that it will actually be extremely quiet and Spencer just sent me a text while doing this live stream I just saw that that I should try hooking up some uh, some light bulbs directly to it and okay yeah let's do this um, no actually that'd be a pain in the butt I want to test this light bulb so I have this light bulb plugged in right now to an inverter so I need to run it across these um, as DC. We'll just run it DC, which I don't, which I think is probably the better way to do it. Do I have a little screwdriver? Yeah, I could touch the end now. That's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. There, there's some orange in there. <laughs> The charge control. it's a little bit of a load but the problem is that we have the charge controller hooked up and it's not so easy to disconnect it um, well Andy you want to hold the phone and I'll disconnect it and then we can try running a light on it because we're here why not oh he's in quiet okay so I'm gonna try disconnecting one of these outputs because that's the only way we can really test it at a higher voltage so the charge controller isn't hooked up. Yeah, that's not too difficult. Put that back in so we don't lose it. Back. Okay, so now I'm going to try plugging in this light 
Um, I guess Andy, maybe you should hold the phone in case I electrocute myself. I won't. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Um, so <clears throat> we'll light you guys up. I'm going to turn this on. It's going to be around 120, 130 volts DC. Let's just verify volts here. And two volts. I wonder if the the nozzle's a little bit too big and it's draining the pen stock. We have about five gallons per minute to work with right now. Okay. We'll try um, you guys can see the light. I'm gonna try putting it on here. Hi, there we oh, go. Yeah. <laughs> so it is working and it, the turbine slowed down a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's lit up bright. So you hear that the turbine is spinning up faster now, and then I put this on. Um, we could actually even do amps, um, but not with this. I don't have my amp meter out here, so um, and I don't know exactly where it is. So I guess that's uh, proof that it is working, that we're making power, it will charge the battery, uh, which is Kind of a big thing that I was interested in doing now. It's quite evident that I need to purchase a better charge controller, but that'll be about $500. So I've been putting that off and now it's time to do that. So, um, hope you enjoyed this second installment and I'll see you guys later. Say bye, Andy. Bye. Bye, guys. Okay, it was fun. See you guys later.